most white supremacists say, who, me? Yes. I'm not a white supremacist. I don't believe in racism. I'm a nice guy. Hey, I'll shake your hand. You know, if you want a hug, I'll give it to you. You know, hmm. I, you know I, I don't believe in that stuff and all like that. And all the time, he's wink, wink, wink. Yeah. All right. This is the modern day, the refined white supremacist. Mr. John Wayne apparently wasn't very refined. That's why I'm quite sure that the refined white supremacist said, hey, you know, we all feel that way. Yeah. It's... But uh, you don't say it out loud yeah. in this day and time. This is to be expected. Yes, sir. You should always expect you're in a world dominated by racism. There's one government on the planet. That's the government of white supremacy. All of the so-called governments are just pretend governments. They seem like they're governments. The white supremacists make the major decisions among the people of this planet. Most of the people on this planet are classified as non-white. The major decisions that affect the everyday existence of anybody classified as non-white is going to be decided by racist man and racist woman, people who are sometimes, uh, in a generic sense, called white supremacists, people who believe in mistreating people based on color. They're the smartest and most powerful people on this planet. So therefore, when he goes into the store, I mean, like I said just a few minutes ago, black people have been given the reputation of being potential thieves and robbers, you know, uh, on a small time level, because the greatest thieves are the white supremacists themselves. That's where we all learned it. I mean, because they steal whole continents. Okay. So that takes care of that. I mean, you're talking about theft. I mean, they glorify thievery and robbery, but they pass it on to their slaves, to their victims. So therefore, we have that kind of reputation. So we should expect that. I expect to be profiled all the time. You should, you know, we're not in paradise. We are in a system of white supremacy worldwide. Yes, sir. If you have color in your skin, you are a prisoner of war already. To a prisoner of war walking up to a jewelry store, oh, sure, the doors are going to slam. And people are going to approach him with guns and say, what are you up to? You have color in your skin. You got a reputation. Your reputation is everything that's about not being somebody of any decency, of any correct intent. You people are throwaway people. You are a threat to our establishment anytime you show up mm -hmm. without us sending for you. So therefore, you are eligible to be mistreated, pushed around, slammed to the ground, dislocated, forced to immigrate from one place to another because bombs are dropping all over the place. Yes, sir. This is what we do. And you don't understand this yet, you colored people of this planet, and we are doing it to you each and every day, all day, one way or another, in all areas of activity, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. You are at war, or rather we are at war with you. Why? Because you are the incorrect color. You are the throwaway color. You're not even supposed to be here on the planet, but mm -hmm. since you are here, we treat you like we want to treat you. Mm -hmm. Whatever sent you here must have made a mistake because mm -hmm. you people, you dark-skinned people, are a mistake in our eyes.